Secret File USA. Starring Robert Alder. Mission Assassin. Secret File USA, a warning to all enemies of America, at home and abroad, who are planning acts of aggression. This is the story of the gallant men and women who penetrated and are still penetrating enemy lines to get secret information necessary for the defense of the United States. This is the story of one of our nation's mightiest weapons, past, present, and future if necessary, the American Intelligence Services. Headquarters had sent me to the Washington office of Dr. Philip S. Lindsay, American delegate to the International Peace Conference, soon to be held in Naples. Meeting with us was Colonel Leone Saccaccio, military intelligence attaché to the Italian Embassy. I'm Major William Morgan, American Intelligence. Dr. Lindsay, the enemy knows that you will present to the International Conference a plan to unite the free world against aggression. But the enemy also knows that the acceptance of the plan depends upon your being present at the conference. See, si, and in person, sir. They will kill you if they can. That's why we urge you to remain here. Gentlemen, I'm grateful for your concern, but I, I think you're worrying needlessly. Excuse me, Joe. Yes. Yes, immediately. Excuse me, gentlemen, I have an appointment with the Secretary of State. Of course, sir. The delegate is a brave but stubborn man. See, si, but perhaps he is too brave, Major Morgan. I'll leave for Naples at once. See, si, an incognito, if you please. Any clue to the planned assassination? We know their methods. They used Cesare's gang when Vice Consul Fuller was stabbed. Cesare Mantis? See. Si. A pretty tough boy. He and his cutthroats are being paid by the enemy. I should be in Naples by late tomorrow. I'll do my best. Thank you. I knew I could depend on you. Thank you for your trust, Colonel Sicaccio. Good luck, Major Morgan. A day later, I arrived in Naples and immediately went south to a small fishing village. My reason? to find my old pal, Tonio Florio. My thoughts went back to World War II when I had first met Tonio. He knew every thug, racketeer, and questionable character on the waterfront. If anyone could help me find Cesare Mantis, it was Tonio. I asked some of the local fishermen whether Tonio was still around after all these years. Apparently he was, but they didn't care to discuss him. I stopped one of the village women, called her beautiful, and asked her where Tonio lived. The woman said she did not associate with disreputable characters like him. I gathered from the gleam in her eyes that Tonio had not changed much. He used to be quite a man. A waterfront bistro looked like the place most likely to lead me to Tonio. Besides, I was thirsty. Vino, help you measure. There was one way to locate my boy, and I found it. This was a girl who would respond to money, but money only. Grazie, signore. Molto grazie. La ragazza.
I figured a thousand lira would do it. Sto cercando Tonio Florio. Venga con me, signore. Grazie. Arrivederci. Tonio non ha bisogno di ospiti. Che non sono invitati. My good friend Morgan, my best friend to save my life. Come on, sit down, rest, have a wine, talk to Tonio. <laughs> well, I had a hard time finding you, Tonio, but I'm glad to see you're feeling so well. Some people Tonio want to see, others not. You, <laughs> always. What brings you here? Is it? Hardly, Tonio. If you're still my friend, you'll help me stop a murderer. Who wants to kill my friend, Morgan? They're not after my life, Tonio. They're after the life of an important American. You're the most important Americano I know. <laughs> but I am your friend. Trust Tonio. He will help you. But first, a drink. Salute. Salute. a parlare con Tonio, che abita qui. Va via. L'uomo mi ha dato guadrini. Now, amico, tell Tonio, who you think gonna kill Americano? We believe our enemy hired Cesare. Cesare Mantus, the boss of all murderers, of all killers. You're right. Big job like this, done through him. But don't ask me to take you to Cesare. I cannot. But you can tell me where to find someone who is close to him. Somebody who can be bought. I have money. Tonio, you once promised me si, that... See, si. Only for you, I do this. I know somebody. Come, friend. We go there. Looks like you saved my life, Tonio. You saved my life in war. Go on. Tonio acted strangely. Something was bothering him. He had barely spoken to me when I changed my suit at the hotel. In there, see the girl. Her name is Lucia. She's a Cesare's friend. Ah, madame, c'est trop cher pour moi. C'est très beau, mais c'est beaucoup trop cher. Pardonnez-moi, monsieur, madame. Pretty. An Americano, see. Si. May I help you? How much for this exquisite figurine? For such a handsome Americano, 15,000 lires. And I lose money. Lucia wanted $30 for a figurine worth 50 cents. It's a shame that a lonely visitor can only spend his money on figurines. Money buys not only figurines, signore. Yes. 
This money would buy dinner with champagne. For two. For two? You are Lucia, aren't you? Uh-huh. How about your sharing that dinner with me? I am busy. Too busy to talk about Tonio? Tonio Florio. It's important and worth your while. All right, Americano. I will meet you at Cafe Appia at 8 o'clock. Pronto. Pronto. Nice Americano. I like you. What's your name? My friends call me Bill. Okay, Bill. Now, what do you want from Lucia, Bill? You're very beautiful. Did Tonio ask you to tell me that? No, he didn't. How come you know Tonio? We fought together during the last war. He was in the underground and I was in the American army. I was with the underground too. The Americanos helped us. Now an Americano needs your help. What can I do? I need information from Cesare. Cesare? I don't know any Cesare. Antonio said you do. You are looking for trouble, Bill. No, just information. Important information. It's easy money, Lucia. All you have to do... I don't have to do nothing, Bill. More champagne. Camarera. My friend's plane arrives tomorrow. I must save his life. That's why I need the information. Did Tony promise I get the information? I told you I'm willing to pay. There will be more. Well, Bene, I will ask Chesler. He tell Lucia everything. I hate Chesler. Tell Tonio I hate Chesler. Twelve o'clock midnight. I was on my way to Lucia's shop where she had told me to meet her. Although she had acted strangely, I felt she would help me. Perhaps for the money, perhaps for Tonio, perhaps to double-cross Cesare. When I approached the shop, a fancy sport car was parked in front of it. The driver looked unpleasantly familiar. He was the man who had tried to kill me that morning. I didn't recognize the stocky man who drove away with my friend. This might have been a trap, but a date was a date. Lucia? Back to Secret File, USA. The police officer apologized for holding me overnight, but he thanked me for reporting the murder. Already the headlines screamed the news of Lucia's death. The officer rambled on. I thought of the arrival of Dr. Lindsay's plane, due in four hours. I hurried to see Tonio. What's wrong? Folio felicara la morte di Lucia. 
Se sarà l'ultima cosa che farò. What was Cesare's girlfriend to you, Tonio? Fammi come io. She was my wife. Cesare took her away from me. Now she is dead. Did you see somebody with Lucia? Yes. When I went to the shop last night, I saw a short, stocky man walk out. He had a scarred face. Cesare! So Cesare killed her. She was no good. But I love her. I believe she still loved you, Tonio. She wanted me to tell you that she hated Cesare. Come with me, amico. We see Cesare. taking me on a fishing trip. He said that the boat anchored out in the harbor was the headquarters of Cesare, the gangster king. Some reception. Cesare lived up to his reputation. Sit down and have a drink, gentlemen. And make yourself at home, Major Morgan. Major Morgan? Hmm. We've had you trailed ever since your arrival in Napoli. We've been keeping our eye on every operator until... Until the arrival of the American delegate. Exactly. I'm being paid very highly to, shall we say, liquidate your delegate. A small time bomb planted in the delegate's limousine will do its work well. <laughs> Such a simple device, isn't it, Major? Too bad you can't do nothing about it, huh? I'm sorry you found it necessary to visit us. How do you plan to entertain your friends? With a ride, of course. A ride in a real Neapolitan boat. Avanti, ragazzi. Assassino. Questa è la sua fine. I was worried about the bullets that whizzed by me than I was about my friend who was after me again. I reached the pier barely ahead of him. Now for a car, and quick.
The motor of the second car was idling. There was no time to ask anyone's permission. I got away in it just in time, while the owner cried, thief. I was headed for the airport. In 20 minutes, Dr. Lindsay would arrive. My bearded friend was driving a fast car. It was nip and tuck all the way, until his car overtook mine. I pushed down on the accelerator as hard as I could and managed to get ahead of him. Then my pursuer got smart. His car whipped by, full speed ahead. Apparently my friend was anxious to get to the airport. I wondered if he would change the assassination plot at the last minute. At a nearby farmhouse, I spotted an old truck. The owner agreed to drive me to the airport. I paid him well for it. Dr. Lindsay's life depended on my getting to the airfield before he got off the plane. SS flight 43, arriving for Rome in three minutes. Police escort, stand by. Flugzeug SAS 43 aus Rome wird in drei Minuten landen. Polizei escort, so bereit sein. L'aeroplane SAS 43 da Roma in arriva in a tre minuti. Escorta di polizia, se sta pronto. Welcome, Major Morgan. We are glad to see you. What can we do for you? I suspect there's a bomb hidden in the car of the American diplomat. Mm -hmm. That's impossible, Major Morgan. Impossible. We have checked everything. But you are welcome if you want to see it for yourself. My man will be glad to help you. Which is Dr. Lindsay's car? This one. Let's have a look. Open up the hood latch. Delegate's car was okay. No trace of a bomb. Grazie, signore. Credo di aver ricevuto delle informazioni sbagliate. Then I spotted my friend in the uniform of a porter. If he was handling the baggage... L'assassino è lui. Attenzione, è pericoloso. Thank you, Major Morgan. You were right after all. I cannot... We are very honored, Dr. Lindsay, to have you in our country. As you see, we are taking the best of care of you and your party. Every precaution has been taken for your safety. What's one little time bomb? This way, Dr. Lindsay. Thank you. The peace conference was successfully launched. Mission Assassin was accomplished. But there is and will be no rest for those engaged in the war against oppression. Let all aggressors beware. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Robert Alder. 
You've just seen me in the role of Major William Morgan of American Intelligence. There are many Major Morgans who are risking and have risked their lives for freedom and democracy. This program is dedicated to them. Next week, I will again appear as Major Morgan in another mission which takes place in another country. Be with us again to enjoy next week's exciting chapter of Secret File USA. Thank you. Thank you.